Here we are in our NHL 25, be a goaltender, and those stats aren't looking too good, but compared to last year, that is unbelievable. We finished the season with one win, which is really sad. This year, we already have three. We have nearly a 900 save percentage. Let's see if we can keep this up. As a whole, the team is struggling a bit. 13, 13, and 5. We are 25th in the league at the moment. Oh, wow. Aginla got promoted up to the first line with Keller and Genther. Cooley is now centering the second line with Michelli and Granlund. Our bottom six looks pretty solid. Our defense is also pretty solid. I think we do just lack firepower on offense. Like we have 85, 84, and 89 as our first line, which I mean, the 89 is good there, but these two could probably be second liners. And then there's this guy. 74 overall, somehow has an X factor. Connor Ingram, the starter at 85. Let's hope in this video we can climb up the standings a little bit. Tampa Bay is 18th. They're not doing super well themselves. Hopefully we have a good situation going into the third, but let's see. First period is going to be 2-0 for the good guys, and we have a 2-1 lead. Absolutely, we're jumping in. I don't know that they would so soon, but if Utah does release a new jersey, I'm curious to see... Okay, so tethering is still not off fully. That is good to know. That was pure chaos. Smother this so that I can turn tethering off. But you know what? Maybe I should leave it on. I got sidetracked from my other point. So I don't know that they would. But if Utah released another jersey, would it show up in the selection screen in this be a pro? Even though we started it before it came out? I feel like it probably would, but I guess you just never know. All right, Paul goes back to the point after letting a not-so-great shot go. And back to the point again. Holy crap. Steer that aside from Victor Hedman. We just got to stay calm and composed here. Yep, blocker save. Okay, that was dramatic. Get up, dude. Oh, my goodness. That took 10 years to get up. I'm putting recovery up to 99 as soon as I can. There it is. I knew that it was just a matter of time, the way they were playing. And the time is now. It's a good try. It's a good try. Vasilevsky is not going to let that one in, though. You know, you got to do a little bit better if you want to beat him. I'm also just now realizing... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... Pro Whoa, why did it not work? Come on. I wanted to try scoring a goal. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. The defenseman has to get that out there. They have to get that out. Also, it was Robbie Fabry on pretty much the same goal. And it was a hat trick. All right, we're fighting Vasilevsky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please fight me. That would have been a disaster. All right, we got caught up on someone there. Our record is 1-1 one one right now, which is not good. We should have a much better record than that. Okay. Not off to a great start. Oh, yeah, we are. We're off to a phenomenal start. This guy is getting dummied. But that could change right here. Oh, the big dodge. Oh, the big dodge. Vasilevsky getting absolutely pounded. See you later. Thanks for showing up and all. But you just got deleted. How's that for a thumbnail? I can't save a puck to save my life right now. This is absolutely absurd. If they score here again. All right, there it is. Little glove save. Hopefully... That gets us back on track, because right now, we are so far off the tracks, they don't know where we are. No. Okay, that was just horrible on my part. We are getting absolutely dummy. Take me out. I really thought that this was going to be a good one. <laughs> Silly me. There we go. Just got to make some saves here. So the stats aren't so bad, because they were amazing. They had, like, 30 shots and only one goal. And now 38 and 5. All right, need to calm down. <laughs> I'm getting a little frustrated here. Wired one from the slot. Thankfully, we closed the mini wheats before that one went in. This was a very infuriating way to start, but we still have two games left to bounce back. And I think we'll do it. Also, maybe our team is just not good. Because I'm kind of just thinking right now. Like, they get a lot of sort of breakaway-ish chances. Like, that was a decent chance. But they get a lot of breakaways or, like, one-timers in the slot. We get none of that. We just have shots that go nowhere. That time he got rid of the puck. 
got destroyed, but at least the puck's out. So you took the hit, and they didn't score. That's better. Give me another save. Oh, yeah, in the oven mitt. Throw it out to Sergs, who is going to beat that guy there. 27 seconds left. We just got to get out of this arena real quick. They had 41 shots, so it's not too bad, but still. Considering where we were, the Smashville Predators. Ingram cooked a little bit. We're 15, 14, and 6, and we should hopefully have a good third period here. Assuming... It's not like 8 nothing going into the third. All right, Smashville, let's see what you got. It is 1 nothing after 1. It is 2 nothing. We might be able to do it. All right, let's try. Actually, who am I kidding? Two goals on Roman Yossi and UC Saros? Unlikely. They're taking a penalty, which could be the TSN turning point, maybe. Let's see if Cools win that drawback. He does. He does just that. Set up the play. A one-timer there could have been very cool. Clearly not the direction the team was going, though. Okay. Okay. Maybe stop passing so much and shoot? How did that go in? I don't care. All that matters is that it did go in. But just out of genuine curiosity, I gotta see how he floated this one pass, you see. Down low. Another pass down low. And did he just go... All right, four minutes into this third period, and we are within one. That had a chance. That really had a chance. Okay, Nashville coming back this way. Philip Forsberg lets a fluff go. I mean, to be fair, his stick probably hit the defender, but doesn't matter. We saved it. Nice hit. Feed him. Oh, my goodness. 6-3 was right there, and he was all wound up, ready to go. That's unfortunate. Nice hit. Let's go, Castle Ring. Now Michelli has it in the zone. Iginla picks it up. Let's set up a splendid goal to tie this thing up. Who says no? No! So close! Slap shot from Roman Yossi is going to be rejected. Mm hmm. Whoa! Aginla just got Beybladed. That was insane. The third period so far has been all Utah. We are dominating. We just need to get one more goal. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that blocker save? That was lethal. This game just has the writing on the wall. We have to tie it up. We finally scored a non-sim goal. I just made a spectacular save somehow. How do we not tie it up, you know? Let's go! There it is! Dursey and Genther with a little bit of a give and go. And he is going to kind of snipe. I mean, it wasn't the best shot in the world, but it went in. Let's get one more. Just do it. Take the lead. If that went five-hole, would have cried. Tears of joy, let me specify. Aginla goes over to Michelli, but the defenders for Nashville had it that time. And now marches out to Novak. What's he gonna do? Just kind of goes into the boards. That was weird. And a point shot. That was a strong pass. He's lucky to hit the net. That would have been like cleared. Tipped. Saved again. Come on, win that battle, one, two. Oh no. Okay, all right. Well, that comeback was for nothing. Weird shot. Trying to hit me in the cage, perhaps. And then we throw some theatrics on that one. A little bit of Shakespearean goaltending. And it was another... No, there's no way it was another hat trick. There's no way! Along with my motivation, there goes my 900 save percentage. Which, I mean, again, if we're winning, I don't really care about. But we're not winning! Might get one final shot here. Nope, not gonna happen. Alright, well... I don't know what to say. Yeah, you should be disappointed. And potentially our last game will be against the Minnesota Wild. They are 21, 11, and 5. How about we get like a four goal lead going into the third period, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, not playing it. It is a 5-2-L. Two trade points for me? Where is recovery? Yeah, there it is. 
I said I'm doing it. I was not lying. And now it's time to take on the Boston Bruins who are 21, 15, and seven. Will this one be worth jumping into or not? First period, it is 2-1 Bruins. It is, <clears throat> no, it is not worth it. A 9-3 L. They didn't take me out either. That's impressive. There's always next year. You can't stop a beach ball. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh, there it is. Literally perfect. Perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, perfect. In this here game against the Anaheim Ducks, we have to allow a maximum of two goals and be in the three stars, which I mean, if we let in only two goals, there's a good chance we're up there. However, there is not a good chance that we are... Why though? Now there's really not a good chance that we allow a maximum of two goals first period. There it is. We literally can't let in another goal and it's too late. I'm simming the whole thing. What a joke. Hey Clayton, how about you stop complaining about me and go put up some points? Just an idea. Ingram really just won back-to-back -back games against the first place Edmonton Oilers. That is crazy. How will he do against Chicago who is fifth? No. Couldn't get it done. I have a feeling we're gonna get a tan on our neck this game against Colorado, but we're still gonna simulate the first two periods and see what's going on. All right. Oh, all right. 3-1 Utah. You would. Maybe we'll somehow be able to escape here with a win, and that would be very nice, especially because this is... The last game of the episode. Am I just really bad? I don't really know anymore what is going on or how I can improve it. Save that shot. And once again, our defense nowhere to be found. These guys are just able to swarm the front of the net. I really hope it is just continuous one. You had the entire left side of the net. I want to sign one more contract with Utah, and if things don't improve, then I'm probably out of here. But let's go. Let's try to get a goal. Leave me alone, dude. What are you doing? Yo, chill, man. All right. That is so lame. We're not counting this one. I'm out of here. Thought I'd go for a goalie goal out of frustration, and that did not work. I am starting to get really pissed off here. So, okay. Well, no, there's no point. 8-1 win. Thank you, game. 28th versus 29th. What a matchup. Let's just not, you know, let's, let's calm down here. 0-0, zero, 1-1. Zero, one, one. Great. The Islanders ended up with Mitch Marner. That is crazy. That's not gonna do it. That's not the one. Splits the D and tries to go five hole. That is saved. Another chance. Sorokin is doing what I could never do. Save the puck. Nice passing, but Granlin's gonna be rejected as well. Tries to go back to the point. Risky pass and it does not pay off. The Isles now have possession and they're gonna go back door. I knew it. There we go. Now we're settling in a little bit. We did start quite well against Tampa. Like we didn't play bad there at all. And the problem is that once the ice was broken, it shattered and we couldn't save anything. So that wasn't fun. I could go for it again, but I simply will not do that because the players, oh, they're backing off. They're actually backing off this time, kinda. Oh no. Note to self. Don't try goalie goals anymore. Our season's pretty much over already anyway, so I guess it's kind of worth experimenting. And I also do remember seeing a comment from someone who plays goalie a lot that this system is quite broken. So apparently I should start using it. I truthfully am almost ready to just simulate the rest of this season. In fact, I might because it's done. And like, who's got the patience to wait for a bunch of pointless games? Let's see if we can make a save with this thing here. Oh, I was actually just off. There we go. We got the green. That's nice to see. I did guess where they were going to shoot. How about it? Well, we lost this game out of my own stupidity, but I have just had it, really. The trade deadline's right here. I actually might, in the next episode, just finish off the season. Seven hours of training. Seven hours of commercial-free training start now. At least we're not last in the division. We're very close. 
but Dallas is below us. Edmonton and Florida currently tied with 77 points for first. We are way down here. 53 points is going to put us 27th in the league, and dead last is the San Jose Sharks. 48 points and a minus 20. Yeah, so I think this whole making me make a promise thing shouldn't happen. 41 for Genther and Granlund. Aginla has 39. Michelli 37. We've got two defenders with 25 points, which isn't terrible. Ingram has a record of 18, 5, and 6. He has a shutout and a 908. We have a record of 5, 11, and 1 with a shutout. Nearly a 900. We're getting there. Georgiev currently has the most wins in the league with 33. He has a 904, which isn't great. A 924 for both Bobrovsky and Markstrom. Kilmakar starting to catch up to Bouchard, so it's a similar story to last year, except it was Yossi and not Bouchard. And McDavid is leading for points with 89. He's a plus 24. 44 goals in 58 games. 46 for both Matthews and McKinnon. That was a really frustrating one. I almost lost it several times, but... We will finish up the season in the next video, get this season done real quick, sign with Utah for one more year, and if things aren't going well, then we might have to think about getting out of here. Tino Manny, you are a trash can.